Hi guys, I figured I would get on here and share a video of a Dollar Tree haul. Um, it's been a pretty long time since I've been at the Dollar Tree and I didn't get very much. The Dollar Trees in my area have been pretty lame lately. I've seen a lot of new things that people have been hauling and I'm not finding them in my Dollar Trees. Now they may come and it might be a long while before we get them but anyway I will show you what I got from the Dollar Tree and also I have a few things that I got from Goodwill. First off I got just a simple basic bottle brush. Um, I use these for the milk glass or not milk glass but the glass containers that are shaped like a milk bottle. Um, this is what I have found easiest because you can't get down in there so I use this to clean them with. And believe it or not this is the first time I have ever seen the wooden candle wicks um, and I have never burnt one with the wooden wick. Um, so I'm kind of curious to see how it does. Everybody says it crackles and I got it in Paradise Spa just to try it out. Then this chuckled me, it caught my eye. Um, it's called Christmas in Sugar Creek and Sugar Creek this is based out of my state. Um, it's an Amish country and that is where my husband and I got married and so I figured I would read this just to see what it had to say so Christmas in Sugar Creek. I'm gonna give that a try and read and it was actually when it was out was fifteen twenty nine so pretty good deal for a dollar. I'll see how the story is. And then the last two things that I got at the Dollar Tree was some washi tape. This one here I got. Now I have the full big stickers of this um, with just the paw prints on it. So I got the washi tape with the paw prints on it and I got one with the balloons on it. Um, the birthday balloons or whatever. And this one I didn't have so I figured I would add it to my collection that is overcoming everything. I have tons of washi tape. Um, at Goodwill I used plastic cups for the kids and I thought these were really cute. They look like they're brand new and never been used. Um, they're just a nice tumbler. They're plastic so they're kind of party festive I guess and they were 69 cents and some were 59 cents so but I got five of them for winter time coming up I got this coffee mug um, it was a really nice one I like the handle on it and everything it's just cute and it's for wintery time so I got that and it was 99 cents but it was half off that day so I got it for 49 cents. Next I got this mug. Must have been a day for mugs for me or something. Um, this one for some reason it was 69 cents and I thought it was cute and it kind of matches the color with my kitchen so for the winter time I will have this one. Next I got these um, again, they were $2.99 and they were half off. I'm sorry for the glare, guys. But they were $2.99 and they look like they've been hardly used, if any. And when I looked at them, I'm assuming that they come from, uh, I don't know if it'll focus. From, there you go. From Bath and Body Works. Um, originally it shows that it was $12.00 and I got it for half off so it made it a dollar fifty. They're just candle holders um, for your th for your pillar candles and they had a whole set there of course they were individually marked and I got three of them so I thought that was a pretty good deal um, and they're cute I can spray them if I want to or I can use them in a trio with some flameless candles and put like a high one in the center and two smaller ones on the sides for the mantle or the table, just whichever. 
for any of the holidays. So I got all three of those and liked them. Next I got these. I thought these were really cute. These are more for in the summer because they just go to your knees. And they're just a pair of like pajama pants. Um, just really cute. And they were actually half off. And they are Paul Frank, I think. I don't know. Anyway, I got these. Thought these were really cute. Just to lounge around the house in for summer. Spring and summer. I found this. It's kind of a weird, odd shaped. It's actually just a piece of wood and they have laid a piece of paper over it and I would assume just sealed it. And it's a canning jar and the whole piece of wood is the shape of a canning jar. And I paid $1.99 for this. And I'm going to strip this off because my kitchen is kind of done with the mason jars. But I'm going to strip all this off and redo it myself to have for in my kitchen. So look for that video. It won't be super soon, but I'll be having a video up on how I do redo this. Next I got this. This is just simply a silly kind of. Um, we had a restaurant years and years ago when I was a kid that was called the Cornucopia. And it was out in a rural part of the I don't know what you want to say. It was out in the rural country. And it was just where two main roads kind of met or crossed. And so when I seen this, it made me think of that. And I got it. And so I figured I'd just put it in with my fall and Thanksgiving decor. And I only paid 99 cents for that. Next, I got this picture. I thought it was cute. Um, just something to sit out for just the fall time and Thanksgiving and I only paid 99 cents for this it's just a picture frame but it's kinda got a 3D look to it with the frame being raised and so yeah I got that I thought that would be cute to have set somewhere and the last thing that I got was um, washi tape and this was the good scotch brand and I don't know if I can turn this but anyway, if it'll focus here, 79 cents for the washi tape. Both of them were 79 cents a piece. So I got this one that's in like the black and red check for like winter around Christmas time. And I also got this one. I'm not real sure. I think it's just got all kinds of different, just different stuff on it but it too was 79 cents. So that is everything um, that I've gotten. We was out running around Monday doing errands. So one little thing I wanted to say is I'm really close to reaching 200 subscribers. I figured um, if you want to give any kind of ideas you can put them down below in the comments on a giveaway because I would like to do a giveaway at 200. Um, so if you have any suggestions with the giveaway on what to give away, you can leave them down below in the comments. Otherwise, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.